Hi, I'm Anna. And I'm Ben. We are autosave. Welcome to our channel. Today we are back with ReZero, episode three, technically. We, this are, is... we are back from the dead. We are back into ReZero again. Yeah, yeah. What, what are we going to do differently this time in this episode? So it's like every time we stop watching an episode, we've we, we've died. And every, mm -hmm. uh, that's that's something. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're back. I am in, I'm enjoying the show a lot, actually. Me it's too. a nice change of pace. It has like this, I don't know nice feel lighthearted feel but, but the still same... stuff to think about yeah and it but it also comes with this like foreboding like feeling i have like we talked about it in a couple discussions what what would dying and restarting over and not and having to live through that do to a person i don't know if this anime is one to explore that because it's anime but it's an interesting concept right i know you give you give me such a whimsy and beauty yeah and then you also give me like an incredibly kind of fucked up premise that yeah. this character is just going to keep dying in horrific ways over and over and over again but we don't know for certain if it's death that resets him yet that's that's one of the only thing the that current. has been a constant yes. right we don't know if um he's able to choose where he restarts at if it has to be death that if happens before be he restarts you know at the apple stand yeah and at the Appa. Appa stand yeah um we've died i believe four times now hopefully this will not be a fifth we have satella walking in instead of elsa here that was the worry um and I'm hoping that with uh, Natsuki, Felt, Old Man Rom, and now Satella, we're able to take down Elsa. Don't forget Puck. And Puck, you're right. Because Puck we're, might here, be we're here a earlier. little bit earlier right. in the day, though, yeah. now. You're so... right. I don't know. Maybe Reinhardt will show up. He's really cool, but there's something in the back of my head that I'm like, I don't know if I trust him all the way. We're, we're not sure. We're on the fence with Reinhardt on if he's suspicious or uh, not. I'm pretty certain the only reason Satella was able to arrive here was because Reinhardt conveyed the mm -hmm. message of Natsuki. Which would make him a really great guy, a really upstanding guy. What he really it, does his job. It, it depends on like how he phrased it. Like, what if he <laughs> didn't do what Natsuki said and did the opposite and was like, oh, no, he really wants you to go there alone. Oh, like he was trying to, like, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, yeah. wingman it? Mm. No, 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 no. Like, like <laughs> wingman for who? Like, for Natsuki. Like, He's like, he told me that you shouldn't go there. And he just knows that she's automatically going to want to go there. Yeah, but that would suggest, like, evil, like, wanting her to die from Reinhardt, you know? Oh, see, I was going on, like, romance. No. I think that Reinhardt understands the severity of this. I <laughs> We're just meeting these characters. I don't know. I'm liking the show, though. It's fun. You ready? Yes. Sweet. Okay, so we get another chance at becoming friends with Satella. How are we going to do this time? We just shouldn't say the word Satella out loud. Yeah. <laughs> Ice? Yeah. This is green ice. <laughs> Crystals. So like her to be honest right here. Wait, are you? She's renowned. Still the flower, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice! Does Puck remember? We were wondering. Interesting. I like how she says wonderful. Puck, get real big. <laughs> She'd like that, though. Oh. Shut your mouth. <laughs> 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 oh. 
<laughs> what? I will forever. <laughs> I love how aware he is. Spiritual arts user. <laughs> she doesn't even look like she's breaking a sweat. No. Oh. Staying up late is bad for your skin. Nice. Oh my god. <sighs> Contract. What? You got to do something. Get creative. Okay, I felt 15. <laughs> She's doing it all with a smile on her face, too. Okay, now we're all gonna work together. Round and round. Oh no. You don't want to live through that again. I don't want to feel that pain again. What are you going to do, man? in the yeah. background when they're talking. <laughs> they're like siblings. Yeah. He's gonna pick up the club. Can he even pick it up? Yeah, he can. Mm. Oh! Is there something good felt can do for them, like getting Reinhard? Maybe. Don't forget about me and then just... Trump card. Aww. Oh. A happy ending. She's so fast. <sighs> nice teamwork. Oh, cool mm. shot. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. <sighs> I'm like clutching my stomach. <laughs> Reinhard? Yes, please. Give me my master swordsman. Oh. What an entrance. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. God, I was so Amazing. dumb to ever doubt him. Please.
This is the second time somebody's been calling out for help and Reinhardt's there. Yes. It's music. Northern provinces. Bowel hunter. Oh, that fits so well. I yeah. hate it. Her unique killing style. Mm -hmm. Oh. He's okay. Oh, is he still alive? Because he's honorable. Oh! <sighs> he's not even going to use the sword. Means it's not needed? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. If I lose my bones, I'll use my life. Oh, these shots. Interesting. He's letting her heal. Okay. Okay. Astria family. Look at all the mana gathering around him. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. I bet the spot around them is like perfectly safe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Apologize to the sword? Interesting. He's so transparent with it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Is now one of those times? Take good cat. Oh my god. <laughs> good posing. Do you believe her? I don't know what to believe. <laughs> it was so delayed! What the fuck? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> okay, oh, he's okay. Oh my god, we don't All have right. to start over. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Whoa. 
よろしければ当家の方で客人としてこっちで連れ帰りますその方が事情もはっきりするしおこやおじいさんはどうなるの職務上見逃すことはですがあいにく自分は Yes! He's off duty today! I love him じいちゃんみてえなもんだなさあ貴族の一人だけ肝心な時に眠りこけてるしパクてる時には絶対にそんなことは言えないけどしてもらったんだ恩知らずのマニュアルでインセグニアとともは返すその忠告されるのってへんてこな気分だ<笑>ロイハルトなんてことだ君の名前は年齢はいくつだい仮面なんて大層なもんはもう多分十五ぐらい誕生日がわからねえからこの約束は守れなくなりました<笑>彼女の身柄は自分気象盗難での罰というなら目の前の光景を見過ごすことの罪深さと比べついてきてもらいたいすまないが拒否権は与えられないまた騎士様らしくまた近いうちに呼び出しがあるかと思われますご理解をスバルのことをどうかよろしくお願いします月を見られるのは今日が最後かもしれないな Okay, that was ReZero, Season 1, Episode 3. I felt like I had started to understand what was happening. Mm -hmm. And then after, you know, the insignia was being passed mm -hmm. over, I was like, okay, wrenching the gears, that's fine. Once felt says out loud who she stole it from. Mm -hmm. Then everything will be fine. And they will, well, maybe not even everything will be fine, but Reinhard would turn his attention then. To Amelia. Or Satella, whatever, right? But no. Like, what? Is it like the crime alone for stealing an important insignia? Did that certain insignia tell Reinhard that Amelia is somebody special and just didn't acknowledge it there? It, it might. It. I think that. I think I'm currently theorizing or feeling that it's because of the importance of the family that the insignia came from, that that is why it is no small crime and he can't overlook this. Yeah. And and there needs to be punishment for it. I have so many questions. Like, why is her name different now? Why is it because other people were in the room? Because before, when we got Satella, it was just her and Subaru, and they had become friends, and she realized he didn't have any knowledge yeah. of the world, basically, and Puck was the only one there other than them. But now we were in a room with other people, and she uses a different name. Do you believe that her name's Amelia? It's interesting that she also gave one name here, too. Well, so the, it's, what's interesting is we don't have any other characters reacting like we did before. When she said Satella, we had Puck's reaction, which we could have used as evidence either as, wow, she's saying her real name, or, oh, she's lying about her name. But now we just got a cute shot of her smiling and saying the name, so we have no evidence for a theory of if that's her real name or not. Yeah, I don't know. Other than context, maybe it's just because there were other people in the room. Which was the character who said, are you? And it was felt. It was felt? When um the, they started seeing that she was a half-elf and she has silver hair. Yeah. Because, um, um, like, it, it, it seemed like... I don't know, because, like, how felt was talking, are you? I was like, okay, pieces are being put together that uh, Amelia is some sort of, like royalty or some sort of like um like i don't know legend or tale like it is renowned right mm -hmm. and like i felt that but then that feels different and contradictory towards the ending with reinhard and the lack of acknowledgement or like focus on amelia well it seemed almost like it could be seen as uh if you are a master swordsman or your family is you are meant to serve that's what you were grown into and if amelia is of a roiling royal ruling class then it would probably almost be seen as more honorable to um avert your gaze and just be like i will come upon you officially soon and kind of take care of the 
the crime first of this dishonor. There was like, there was no acknowledgement towards her though from Reinhardt, right? Well, I mean, maybe he obviously felt doesn't know what she stole and the other two people in the room don't seem to know who Amelia is. So maybe he's also trying to protect her cover here. Yeah, you're right. It's uh, maybe he is like, he could excuse it if it was just, you know, something small, but the fact that it was like important and royal, like makes him in instantly jump into action. I'm going to take you to something maybe like court. And maybe when he said that he'd call upon Amelia, it'd be like as like a witness like a or witness. something. Interesting. I don't know. Hmm. I'm trying. Okay. I'm only a half elf. So obviously there's some lore that felt knows that a half elf, half elf with silver hair resembles somebody yes. else. And obviously Amelia is saying it's an accidental resemblance, which is, we know of this, this witch Satella that everyone kind of gasps in the street the when you say witch, her name, right? the jealous witch, and that you don't want to be called that name or be thought to be that person. Yeah. It's interesting. So... Was it her abilities alone and her spiritual arts being used that led old man Rom to thinking that she was something that wasn't like just a normal magic user? It had to be an elf at that point. And then since it had to be part of an elf, that connecting with the hair was enough to give felt the presumption mm -hmm. of something. So it, in what little interaction we did get between Reinhard and Amelia, I don't know if Reinhard ever had an instant of seeing Amelia use her green shards. Mm -hmm. I think that all Reinhard saw was the healing magic. So it seems like healing magic could potentially be a magic that any magic user could learn. But there's something specific about her attack and then having maybe a spirit with her like Puck that would lend itself to being like a more powerful user, you know, or I don't know. It's possible that he also, uh, uh, evidence to further the idea that he probably or maybe knew who she was, even if he, like Reinhard specifically, is that if you are a knight and yes, you're off duty, uh, are you really going to let some random person take the, your new friend home while they're like unconscious? Yeah. You know, you know, you're going to be like, no, no, I'm the knight. It's my duty to protect the citizens. I'm going to take him home. So Unless you, he trusted her. Do you think they some, have a pre-established relationship then? It's possible that he might f know who she is. Yeah. Interesting. And I think that that could be evidence for that because it is his his duty and he seems very ready and available to be a good knight, a bad knight. Yeah. <laughs> um. Th there was some really interesting dialogue from Puck when he was like on his way out here. If anything happens to you, I'll act accordingly to my contract. If it comes to it, call me even if you have to squeeze me out of my Odo. Contract. Accordance to my contract. What? Mm -hmm. It's so interesting. Do you think that there's like, it's, it, I kind of like the idea that it's not just like, oh, you're my spirit now yeah, and yeah. will come with me. Like there's like some sort of give and take there. Mm -hmm. And it seems like the there's depth. There's an agreement to work together. And it seems like there's a lot more depth to, uh, God, Sat I keep wanting to call her Satella. Um, Amelia and Puck's <laughs> relationship, right? Like only family member. I'd never say I love you to him out loud, right? But it comes with a contract. I wonder how long they've been together. I'm trying, well, I wonder how old she is because we've gotten a few ages yeah. now in this episode, which is nice. I like kind of having that idea of people like we get that Subaru is almost 18 felt is 15 felt is 15 she, she thinks, thinks. yeah because <laughs> she doesn't know her birthday I love and then old man Ram is obviously an old man <laughs> so <laughs> felt had a really good line though towards Subaru that was like uh it was something like the you haven't like aged enough on your face or the experiences you've been through in life have like haven't shown on your face or something it was awesome which is so true and it, it kind of brings you back to when he first met Satella, Amelia, and her and Puck were commenting on how his fingers looked in his hands. Yeah. And it didn't look like he worked any hard labor before. 
What do you think this means going forward as a story in terms of uh, Natsuki Subaru's like ability? It seemed like it took him two to three ish episodes to be able able to successfully overcome this battle in this yes. instance, right? Like in every altercation that we get into going forward, do you think it will take him multiple times and iterations? of reliving the same pain to be able to overcome it. I don't know. It's almost kind of like he has a vault. He has access to vulnerabilities now where he has a healing magic half elf on his side where it, injuries that might've spelled death for him before. Now yeah. that he has kind of rekindled her, his friendship with Satella Amelia, that now some injuries that before would have spelled a restart will now probably be able to be healed. It's so, okay, so it's going to sound really obvious and dumb, but it's really interesting that they, like, had him say something as clear as, I don't want to feel that pain again, because that, I wrote that, down. that I really totally it. lends itself to us thinking that he's going to get fucking tired of this shit. Like, go, yeah. like he's going to, like, this is going to take its toll. Like, I remember it, saying, I think, like, last episode about how worried about his mental health yeah, I am. Like, no, that... I found myself gripping my gut stomach area multiple times in this episode. Every time that Elsa was getting a little bit too close to yeah. Subaru for my liking. And I just felt myself instinctively reaching there as he was. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I, they could take so many different routes with it, you know, because that can not only affect, of course, your own, like, Tra like traumatic like memory right but friendships or potential relationships with people right now is kind of the easy phase of it and dealing with it you're in you're interacting with people for the first time but once you try to add layers onto this going forward with these friends that you're making especially being as transparent as he's being right mm -hmm. because he's was he multiple times this episode brought up like Oh no, I've seen this before. Thing. Yeah. Yes. So how are they going to receive that? How are you going to build friendships going forward through that? That's crazy. Well, I think um, what you're saying kind of brings me, you know, segue into does Puck have any memory of these past Subaru lives? Because I say no. I say I probably agree with you on that, but how... I think it was really purposeful how casual Puck and already in almost like a friendship he and Subaru had in, during the battle. Yeah. But it's probably just Puck's personality. And it was kind of misleading for a second. Like, wait, does he actually have memory of Subaru too? Yeah. But I think that he doesn't. I, I'm going to go with that for now. We got like a little bit more to Puck's personality this this episode. Yeah, he kept like, hating on girls. Yeah, and he's like he's <laughs> kind of like a like a smart ass too. Yeah, like, I, I loved it. Yeah, it was interesting. I'm kind of wanted to see him get big again. But you're a girl, so I don't find that sort of thing very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I don't know. I'm I'm glad that uh, Elsa is not dead. Because I think the name that we were given for Elsa, the Bowel Hunter, is something I need to, to hear on. again. Just yeah, forever. definitely. <laughs> or once the Bowel Hunter does come to pass, somebody can take on that name. God. You know, maybe Subaru could become the Bowel Hunter. Oh my god, I hope not. <laughs> no? No. Um, it's so good and so gross at the same time. So, it was too perfect. Yeah. So we got information that Elsa's blade is from the northern province. Yes. I love world building like that. It makes me want to uh, visit the northern province. We get that Reinhardt is from the Astria family, which is basically born into being a master swordsman. So is he just like, did he have to train and have that innate ability and then he had to like hone it to get to where he is? Or is he just born like OP? Well, we got, I think during one of uh, Subaru's... Uh, nine cat lives um we got the word uh blessing that some people are blessed and felt didn't show it in this in this episode but we did hear that felt had a blessing yeah in an earlier episode and it could be along those lines hmm. and obviously there's something to do with his sword that he won't draw because it's only used when needed and this is not a time that it's needed and i was like that is the biggest <laughs> The biggest punch in the gut for this bowel hunter ever. Yeah. 
Um, I one of his abilities, like based off of what Amelia was saying, if she tried to, if 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 Reinhard wanted to, he could have forced Amelia's mana to stop gathering around her, so mm-hmm. she couldn't continue to heal. Is that because? his mana is so much stronger than everybody else's or is that because it's like a technique you know that he's gathering all the mana around him regardless of where it is i don't know all i know is that i love that he was aware that she was healing and decided to use uh bide his time kind of deflecting and distracting elsa until the injury was healed see and that's one for the side of them having a like a you know knowing of each other at least but then but he's he could also just be a very observant and aware gentleman but then amelia like made it so that natsuki was the one who like gave him the signal the yeah, all clear like she was aware that that's what he was doing Super which i interesting. find interesting because that means that she must have some knowledge of reinhardt's abilities herself yeah to uh, know yes. that he was he needed to be told that he could go ahead yeah interesting so she might know of him but i mean he had a very grand name and it seems like everyone knows of him I wonder that he's coming across. We toyed around with the idea that perhaps Amelia is way older than everybody else, right? Because of the elf thing. Yeah, and uh, if if that's the case, maybe Amelia is just very familiar with the Astria family and knows of their mm-hmm. abilities. So that's why, you know, they would true, know true, of true. what could come. I love felt so much, dude. <laughs> I do too. They they had this really great sibling dynamic, older brother, little sister dynamic when Subaru was telling Natsuki. her to run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I really, really enjoyed that. And I kind of hope, obviously, felt is being arrested now. So I don't know how that's going to go. But I think I might be sad if felt isn't like if this doesn't become like a hey we're a crew and we all travel together or something along those lines or that we see felt again i think i might be sad because i like her dynamic with natsuki i'm with you i i imagine that once natsuki wakes up he's gonna be like where's felt what happened can we go fix that you know (laughs) can felt live with us too (laughs) well i don't imagine that he'd just be okay with felt being like arrested or reprimanded oh no he's not gonna you're so right to bring that up he's not gonna be happy to hear about this at all if he knows if he's told even dude okay so was i seeing things you were seeing things so did elsa just miss it went, it, like, around him. It looked like it phased through him, almost. Or what? it looked like maybe his mana, like, like repelled almost it. Almost, like, made it go around. And yeah. changed direction. That's nuts, dude. Oh, my God. He's so, like, powerful. I know. And I'm, like, I really hope that he continues to be a really good bad knight. There's, like, something unnerving that, like, that this show makes me feel. Because, like, I'm, like... Oh my god, I'm so happy to be here and watch it. But there's just like this like innate feeling in me that I feel like like I don't know. There's an uneasiness? Yes, that's a good way to put it. And you feel it in your stomach or your gut? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe and it's that's... Be- I think it's because we we are aware of the undertone of the kind of reality that this character, this main character protagonist is going to to live through is that that's that's not it for me it, i think it's because they're like part of my like suspicious brain is like okay everybody here's a good guy like can we trust everybody <laughs> but there's here? just like a conspiracy and then we can't actually trust anyone like okay obviously elsa it, we need to watch out for yeah but like there's so much difference in between characters like Reinhard and Amelia and, uh, sorry, uh, Felt, that I, and Puck even, that I'm like, okay, there has to be, this has to go deeper. Mm-hmm. Like, what what more is there, you know? Especially because we know that there is also some kind of legends or lore that, um, certain people are perceived in a certain way that is really negative by the masses, uh, that there is a class system, and obviously, like, we got that shot of felt running through the town and the slums and all of the people shutting their doors and their windows, and, um, I don't know. Do you think felt, 
uses mana like is that like what did they call it her blessing of the wind do you think that that uses mana in itself possibly don't know how blessings work yet i'm wondering if maybe there's something to reinhardt's ability about like being able to control mana regardless of who is wielding it and, like reinhardt was able to make felt fall asleep at the yeah. end there like what's that about that doesn't sound like a master swordsman type thing to do <sighs> He's so cool, though. I know like, you oh, loved when monsters. he like apologized to the sword when it yeah, was, like, turned it was like dust, breaking and into like, pieces, and he was like, "Sorry." And he was like, "Thank you for your service. Yeah, you did amazing." But it's almost like too perfect, and like if it is that great, I love it. But I'm like, but it could be cool to keep him in that kind of grand chivalrous knight, yeah, uh, kind of fun friend for Natsuki. I've never, Area. my only other like experience with a show anywhere close to this is Mashoku Tensei, which is completely different than this. So I don't know like what to expect. This is like a new kind of um, genre for me almost, even though it's also an isekai. There were, there was one thing that I kind of uh, expected or maybe I didn't necessarily expect it, but once it happened, I was like, oh, uh, okay. Thank you for adding that like little thing, which is that, um, Satella, Amelia says, don't forget about me. And then like blasts another ice crystal yeah. <laughs> and it just gets deflected and like it's over and done in a second. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, I really appreciated that. She... Like to announce such a grand thing, like <laughs> don't forget about me, I'm here too. And then yeah. it... it's kind of the same vibe, of, like sneak attack while you're running <laughs> up to somebody. Um, I One thing I liked that she said was that she like respected and wanted to protect Natsuki because he was doing his best I was like oh my god I love that and Natsuki had a good line that I was like okay if, if this it if we have to try to understand what Natsuki's I guess mission is or his mm -hmm. goal here is we had a great term for it which is like wanting a happy ending yeah I could see that being like his motive going forward mm-hmm I could too. I think Natsuki got a, got a lot of clarity in this episode, not only from realizing kind of the realities he was in and going forward, realizing what he wants most, but I think that he also probably had some question marks on if he had, he had remembered incorrectly or if there was something about Satella that he was just uh, naive to because of their last interaction where he said her name and she was like, really upset with him over that yeah and why I would think, she oh, i think sorry, that sorry. in this episode he he realizes like okay no she is still the same person that i had met those other times she's still doing that same thing she did before she still has the flower from the little girl like the barrette yeah and then she still says about saving old man rom oh well he'll repay me you can't lie to someone that saves your life and she's still thinking about, she's still saying things as if they're transactional and like, oh, I'm only helping so that this person will help me. Yeah. But really, like, she's doing way more for them than that thing that she's asking for, which is then mirrored by Subaru being like, you can thank me by telling me your name. Yeah. I. What do you think her deal is, though? Because <laughs> she obviously had, like... She lied once about her name, and we toyed around with the idea of it potentially being to see how much Subaru knew about this world or whatever. But I don't know. Like, th there, uh, there has to be some reason that she's secretive about her name. I could have seen her feeling... Okay. Trying to think about her character um, personality, I would imagine that if she had used that opportunity to test... Subaru when she first said Satella yeah that she would then have been like no no I'm sorry I after agree. seeing his reaction because she doesn't really peg me as the type that would feel good about lying to someone who obviously is kind of innocent and naive I'm wondering if like she's she lies about her name right now depending on what like situation she's in and who she's around that's why i'm not a hundred percent sold that her name's amelia because reinhard was there right. yeah the, the peep the context of yeah. when they had this conversation she was alone with just subaru and puck before after spending basically a day getting to know subaru and then now she just fought in a battle but there's other people around yeah and she didn't have an amazing first impression with him in this in this life either yeah. Like, what if we opened up next episode, 
somehow we are dead. We start back at the Alpha Stand. We have the same thing go on with Satella walking through the crowd. And then Subaru walks up to her. And this time, instead of saying Satella, he says Amelia. And she's like, what? Who's that? You know? And like, it's just, God. I mean, I think now that now we can open up the question of if Subaru dies going forward after this episode, where's the respawn? where is the respawn? Where do we reset? I was thinking that possibly if you get through a day, then it's it could, you know, be the next day. Where's the autosave, right? Yeah. Like where like the next day. No, but that you go to sleep in bed and then yeah, that's the auto save. I, I do like the idea of like the go to sleep element and then waking up, but it like there was a decent chunk of time before the Appa stand was like like w- w- we got there, you know, once he first transported here. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what it is. It could be the sleep. I like that a lot. It could be oh, battle's over. It could be uh, It could be the point that you you could change things. Maybe. You are transported back to, um, like in Fire Emblem games, uh, in newer ones, you can kind of rewind time to a certain place and then go go forward again. Yeah. So it could be a point in time where things could be fixable. Interesting. Or like where like an important decision is mm-hmm. made, you know, how you interact with some, I don't know. Uh, last thing I want to talk about is Amelia or Sotella's trump card and how if they used it, it would have wiped out everybody standing. I don't want to see it. I mean, he, Subaru, like, jokingly, but also not jokingly, was, like, self-destruct, you know, because he's mm-hmm. just aware um, of, like, the outside world, yeah. our world, that, I, I don't know, I I could see it being, like, a self-destruct thing, but I could also see it being, like, a, no, I'm just going to kill everybody in the room, you know? I kind of want to see it. <sighs> I don't. <laughs> I do, but I well, don't. Well, we know our protagonist can start over, so it's it's okay for one of those lives to be um, eliminated just so we can see what her trump card is. Just why is this insignia so important to Elsa and whoever else is, like, working for? Mm-hmm. And Because of all of that and the interaction, I'm a little suspicious of everybody, to be honest. The only, pe- the only people I'm not suspicious of right now are... Subaru felt an old man Rom. Everybody so else I'm funny. suspicious of. That is, I completely agree with you that they are kind of the three. Obviously, the protagonist, we're not going to be super suspicious of him. Um, he's pretty, like you said, uh, transparent. And felt an old man Rom have kind of, they're kind of, they own up to what place in society they have, what job they do, and that it's not necessarily the most righteous thing in the world. Yeah. They seem to be more true to themselves, which mm. might come from having almost like uh, the freedom of not having all eyes on you. Yeah. I don't know. And we still have that coin. I haven't forgotten about it. Yep. All right. That's all I have you. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we hope to see you next time.